Hello everybody, as you know I play Halo Infinite a lot and I was actually wondering what the uh, PC requirements will be uh, and now we actually have them so we can actually take a look and see what the minimum and recommended system requirements are uh, to play the game on a PC. Now let's first look at the minimum requirements and you can see here uh, Windows 10, AMD, FX8370 or Intel i5-4440, 8 GB of RAM and graphic cards, I know many of you are interested in that, uh, AMD RX 570 or NVIDIA GTX uh, 1050 Ti, quite high right? But again I see many games are actually pushing towards the 1060 already. Uh, there are X version 12 uh, and stored 50 gigabyte available space. Now let's take a look at the recommended. We can see that um, take a look at the OS Windows 10 and 19H264 uh, uh, and uh, processor AMD uh, Ryzen 7 3700X or Intel i7 9700K, 16 gigabytes of RAM and graphic cards Radeon RX 5700 XT or NVIDIA RTX 2070 uh, there are X version 12 and the same of course to the storage so these are the system requirements the minimum and recommended system requirements in front of you now I want to tell you something because I play this in different and actually tested that you can check on my channel I tested that in different graphic settings uh, the lowest one and the highest one and the medium uh, actually I was playing on the 1660 GTX Ti and actually medium was the one that I actually played in a good frame rate if I push too high I suffered from lower frame rates uh, of course you can adjust things there are plenty of things you can actually adjust in the settings but overall when I checked out the low settings it actually looked incredible but I'm just talking here on the multiplayer all right keep in mind that these settings that you saw there both of them and this is according to GameSpot and I'm going to quote uh, a spokesman for Microsoft told GameSpot that uh, these are the official system requirements for campaign and multiplayer. Uh, should they change before launch? Uh, uh, well, the company would inform fans about it, 343. Uh, so basically, this is the requirements for both the multiplayer and the campaign. Now, of course, the minimum requirements are again are for both campaign and multiplayer. I do believe that we're going to see uh, significantly more, uh, significant improvement when you change the graphic settings to much higher settings in the campaign. Uh, again, I haven't played it, so we don't know yet. And although both the minimum requirements uh, are the same for both the multiplayer and the campaign, I have a feeling that we're going to see uh, kind of a you know, more detailed environment and uh, probably going to be like really cool reflections and lighting that we just look better when you play the campaign compared to the uh, small maps on the multiplayer. Now let's put just the minimum requirement aside. What you can see here, and this is a screenshot um, from uh, our waypoint, and as you can see here, you can actually change the field of view, and the game also supports for ultra wide and super ultra wide screens. Uh, and of course, there are a uh, wide variety of graphic uh, options for you to play with. Now I'm going to quote something, as you can see here the settings by the way, and on the way I'm going to quote. Um, it's a type between graphic and close play. If you have a beast of PC, and this is from hollowpoint.com, you can really dial up the graphics and the game looks absolutely stunning and 21 by 9. I love it, I can actually play with anyone regardless of platform i think it's a super frustrating way you and your friend on the same platform can play together anyway the game should look amazing if you have a ultra or super ultra wide display now as you can see the graphic settings you have different ways to actually uh, tweak things uh, you can even improve the from it you maybe you want to emphasize on one thing to make things look better while actually dialing down the other things so you can play with this to your liking so if you are playing this on the PC, uh, it's going to be heaven for you. Uh, there also, uh, I read that um, there's also included the ability to maintain a minimum frame weight. Uh, this is thanks to the dynamic resolution scaling uh, and also specify a maximum frame weight, including uncapped. Uh, again, you see that also adjustable field of view. I know many people enjoy it when you can actually see more. And this is uh, going to be amazing on ultra wide display. It's like, I mean, it's, Imagine just putting the screen in front of you, having such a wide uh, field of view. It's just kind of, kind of being inside VR in a way, <coughs> kind of. So well, I can share that based on my experience, the game was absolutely a blast to play. Uh, even on my kind of a relatively uh, 
old laptop again 1660 gtx ti it's already kind of a lagging behind maybe at some point i need to uh, get another one uh because you know those modern games just the requirements for them are just getting high now so fast and again if you only really want to push things forward uh, you know developers have to do that they want to really kind of uh, make sure they stand up from the race when it comes to especially i'm sure with the campaign it should look amazing and we look to, in order to make the best of it they really need to kind of uh, ramp up the minimum system requirements now, i also believe that because it also took their time uh, leaving corona um, pandemic aside of course that this also probably caused delays uh, i'm sure they're gonna just polish everything so the game will look amazing so i can't wait actually to see how the campaign will look like however i couldn't play on my machine on the on my laptop on the highest graphic setting i wish i could uh, for example i can use for example ray tracing right and probably other advanced things that uh, i'm limited because of the hardware uh, but the thing is that when it comes to the multiplayer I'm sure uh, even if I play on medium, I'll be just fine because I tried it. What you see here, it's me playing on medium and uh, it just looked incredible. I played on low, it looks great as well. I play on high and I said to myself, ah, I mean, I play with lower frame rates, but I compare the visuals and I'm actually very satisfied between the two. I, it's not something where you can say, oh my God, the difference is so big that you feel like you are missing something. You don't. Even if you play on the lower setting, guys, you'll be just fine. Yeah, so this is it. So please tell me what left do you have what specs and can you run Halo multiplayer and the campaign uh, or you're kind of frustrated maybe the minimum system requirements are kind of uh, too high and uh, you're frustrated or maybe you just like me want to play the highest graphic settings maybe the campaign will look incredible by just pushing the graphic setting up and you can't uh, I'm frustrated a bit about this but I still think that I'll be able to play in good, uh, in good graphic settings uh, nonetheless. You know, medium will be just fine. So tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Consider subscribing to my channel and give Spooky Fairy a little like, a little. See you soon on the next video. Bye-bye.